Got like Philly Airport. It takes too long to get to the gates, but it's a workout and I need it, I guess, but it's just too much, it's too much. Just got the Boston and just like in Puerto Rico, they're gonna put me on a high ass fucking floor. And I'm about to tear this pizza up in that cocktail right there and get fucked up and lit. Yeah, boy. This is my hotel room. Look real nice in here. Real cozy. Look at that. Look at that. Fucks with it. So this is where they stayed. They stayed in here. Um, my tour paper is all kind of soaking wet now. But they stayed in here. Let's go in here and look at this is where they would light their fire, I guess, to stay warm. Wow. So something else is not So basically the um native Americans, Indians, they already resided here. And then that's when the um English settlers, the pilgrims is what they refer to themselves as. That's when they came here. Afterwards, obviously. I'm sure most of you guys already know that. And I don't know exactly what that is. Or what that is. But um yeah, this is basically where this is where they live. This is where they resided. So guys, she's gonna give us a real history lesson. I was trying to give y'all my history lesson, but she know more than me, so <laughs> <laughs> I just gonna try. Okay. Oh, sure. Hi. Hi. So yeah, this here is actually going to be a machine as well when it's finished. But it's a lot closer to finished than it is um, than it looks. So right. I'm looking at the bottom right now. This is upside down. Okay. And so it's already been hollowed out underneath. We're not working on them today because right. they're made with fire. Oh, they are? Oh, yeah. So okay. The, um, the inside is hollowed out by building a fire all the way down the length of it. Okay. And then you just kind of keep an eye on it, you know, wet down the sides if it's getting too close. Um, and then then you, what we have to do in the modern day is flip it over. So mm -hmm. we're looking at the bottom in the middle, the underneath is hollowed out right now, to shape the ends into that sort of sloped, pointed shape. Right. Um, traditionally, you would also burn the tree down. So by burning the tree down, you get that shape to begin with. Okay, I got what you're saying. So yeah. what's over here? What are these things here? These are just shade arbors. Just so shades? Most of the time, like when it starts raining, that's uh -huh. when here. We're in Boston, and Boston, from what I hear, it rains a lot, and yeah. so you have these rainy days where you want to, you know, kind of run from the rain, don't want to get wet, especially if you're a pretty girl, pretty guy, and you care about your looks, like, I don't want to care about that, but this is where you would hide, basically. And so, yeah. on days like today, too, most of the time, a Wampanoag family is spending their life outdoors, wow. so they're in, that's not quite a finished summer house, mm -hmm. um, but... What did they do when it rained? Like they um, so that house would be covered completely with mats all the way across. Uh -huh. But like about mid October, you start leaving your summer house and moving to your winter house. So okay. we're in the process of very slowly taking all the mats off, just leaving the frame. Okay. So on a day like today, they would be hanging out inside the house, and that's wow. um, and that's no TV, no internet, no, no TV, no internet, plenty of things to do. You know, making making no tools. Ain't no way I could do it, y'all. So we'll live here until you know, we know what's And you, you do like it here? Um, it's been difficult sometimes. The first three years or so were very difficult for us. Can I, can I see the food? Is this, can okay, I just... There's corn there. Sorry, I've got my feet on the stove. Um, but, and uh, you're cooking now? Dinner? Well, not quite. Uh, dinner is past. It's supper next. Uh, is, is the evening meal. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, corn is a very common dish here. It's a staple. Uh, it, I, we eat it with almost every meal. See that? Should be taking some pictures. That's what I should be doing. I've done enough video recording.
but let's just go let's see here and then after that I should be pretty much done this is where I'm at when you say fort fort usually is like for protection is that what you mean exactly yeah like a fortress yeah, exactly. So there are cannons upstairs as well. Uh -huh. So it's uh, it's used to protect the town. So where we are physically, the French were in Canada. The Spanish were in the uh, south of here and in the southwest as well. So if they ever attacked, they'd probably come by boat. So the largest cannons will fight over the town. But this don't really seem like a place where it can protect you much. If uh, they're if the intruders were coming and they attack, is that water out there, sir? It is. That is an amazing sight. Look at this. Yeah, that's the Look at this. See, I was walking up the hill and I didn't notice that the water was, but this, wow. Oh, yeah. So you should check it out from upstairs. The view is beautiful. I can go upstairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right in the back over here. It'll okay. Take you up the stairs, uh, right up there. Can you walk me up there? <laughs> can you walk me up there? Just right around the corner here. It's right here. Oh, I got you. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going up here guys. This was the fortress and it was for many purposes. It was a multi-purpose place that they came here for. Here are the cannon where they would try to shoot and kill off the intruders. Right here. And um, from up here you can really see the water, the Atlantic. Look at that. My God. It's amazing. And sir, what exactly do they call this area here? The Plymouth? The, the what? what you, this area, what exactly do you refer to it as? This is uh, New Plymouth. New Plymouth. This is New Plymouth. long walk it's a motherfucking workout Ugh. man ah, damn. I like I've been walking for ages get out of here I'm on this ghost hunted tour bus and it is hilarious. The double H Club final word in deluxe. Handcrafted. Bespoke. Chariots to bring one's mortal remains from this world unto the glorious, glorious, glorious X. But, sadly, Due to my affiliation with a certain, uh, Gormond Society, no. my name was stricken from all records of repute. Banished, <laughs> shunned, made a pariah, and then ultimately hanged by the neck until dead. And being dead, I was denied! I was denied the glorious afterlife. Of 1797, my Gourmand Society, we feasted. Oh, we feasted. We feasted on two and twenty young people. Yes, we were cannibals. <laughs> and now, I am Condemned to roam the earth. And I find myself stuck in a trolley like you about to look at graveyards at night and in the rain. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> Yeah, I'll be too excited for the day. Relatable content. 
What the heck was that noise? <laughs> Mom, if I don't make it out, you know where I was at? I'm in Boston. <laughs> I don't know where to go. <laughs> let's just let's wait. Let's await further instructions. Oh, bye. Okay, you don't have to eat your stuff. This is where we're sleeping tonight. <laughs> Sleepover. Well, I'm glad I brought my sweater. <laughs> Yo, I'm really going through a legit graveyard, like I believe you, but why are we stop them? Okay, good, good, good. Welcome to King's Chapel. Established in 1630, making this the oldest official burying yard in Boston. Mm. If you look around and can quickly count, there are 644 graves. Which means there are about 3,000 dead people here. Now we're in a small burying yard. Soon we're going to visit a larger burying yard. And of course, nearby is Boston Common, which is an unofficial huge burying yard. Mm. Which means there are a lot of dead people beneath our feet. All right, now. What else is beneath our feet? Mm -hmm. Brick. 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 Yes. Oh, we've got some detectives. <laughs> it's a rainy fucking evening in Boston. And uh waiting for my Uber to come pick me up and take me back to the hotel. So I figure I just take a little scroll through the park so we get here ain't nothing else to do because he like eight minutes away it's cold as hell out here I tell you that much colder than Philly Philly is definitely chilly around this time but it ain't this chilly in Philly we don't really get this cold until like November and um it's freezing in Boston right now I mean it literally feels like December I mean it is brisky as fuck see that Real nice looking out there. So, Uber should be coming soon. I'm gonna stand my ass over here on this corner where I need to be. But, uh, yeah, this is Boston. Boston, Boston, Boston. Boston at night. All right, y'all. Later. Hey y'all, I'm in the 
historic park in the city of Boston and this park is known as Boston Common a lot of people mistakenly call it Boston Commons and it's not plural singular Boston Common it's absolutely beautiful that's how it looks and a lot of things happened here throughout this long history Martin Luther King led a civil rights rally here um, during the Revolutionary War the soldiers used to camp and train here and the uh, Puritans they uh, used to hang criminals here probably not on these trees but uh, <laughs> they used to hang criminals here um, and quite a few other things happen in this beautiful park in Boston um, it's a really historic park I uh, walked up there and took a picture but yeah it's a beautiful park glad I was able to get out here and take some pictures and record a video because yesterday in Boston it was rainy as fuck rainy as fuck all right, so that church behind me is the Park Street Church, another historical site in Boston. Um, a lot of things took place there, but the thing that stood out is that um, they had some strong prayers to end slavery in this church here in Boston. It's kind of tall, so can't really get all of it, but uh, that's it right there. Okay, so this is the Boston, Massachusetts State House right there. It was designed by Charles Bulfitch. And the cornerstones were laid by Paul Bevere and Samuel Adams. It didn't always look like that. Originally, it was just the bright red brick colored parts. And then the uh, white sides were later added, I believe, by Paul Bevere and Samuel Adams. They are both uh, Bostonians, and this is um, one of the oldest buildings in Beacon, on Beacon Hill in Boston. So uh, behind me is the oldest public school in the country. Um, it's a Latin school and Benjamin Franklin went there, um, Samuel Adams and John Hancock. They all went to the school and they were all alumni here. And that's a statue there of Ben Franklin. And this is the Latin school. Oldest public school. That has since then been uh, moved to the west side of Boston, I believe. There it goes. So that Chipotle store over there. That was an old corner bookstore. The statues right here are a memorial for the Irish. I believe that came here. I think it's called the Irish for Maine or for mine memorial. I don't know quite how to pronounce that. And here is the old South Meeting House where uh, protesters wanted to protest the recent um, past 
T-Act and a whole bunch of protesters, like 5,000 of them, I believe, went and got tea and dumped it in the water afterwards because <laughs> they didn't agree with uh, the tea act. So, yeah, that's where I'm at in Boston. This is the Chipotle store over there, which used to be the old corner book store. And those are the um, Irish... Uh, memorial and this is the old south meeting house right there it's kind of tall so I could barely fit in it but, um, this is another historical uh, site in Boston so I'm still on my freedom trail walk throughout Boston going to see all of the uh, historical uh, sites Boston has a lot of historical sites and a lot of history um, downtown Boston and um, this is the site of the Boston massacre here this is the old state house I believe they call it and uh, this circle here as you can read on there it says site of Boston massacre March 5th 1970 yeah, so that's where all of the craziness took place way back in the fucking day. What's good, boys? Yeah, this is uh, what's your name again? Colin. Colin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Had a John great Hell's talk. Cool as fuck. I appreciate it, man. Uh, Had a great talk with him, and uh, we enjoying Boston, and we're gonna continue to do that, and yeah, man. Yeah. Philly's pretty gross, so I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> he ain't no my city, y'all like that. We gotta fight. He ain't no my city. <laughs> you making me mad. He ain't no my city, y'all. But I'm um, just honest. That's no. All I am. And and he talk about me, but guess where he from? All right. Like <laughs> Syracuse is a nice city, you know. We no, you both. You both from you from you from Rochester. Oh, I thought like yeah, Rochester too. But yeah, man, right, good good conversation coming. with a man, and um, appreciate talking to you, bro. Yeah, it's great talking to you, Jonah. Okay, so this is a uh, Paul Barrera's house. Um, this is another uh, historical site in Boston over here. So this is where we at, and uh, that's his house right there. Um, that great house. That's the house that they uh, preserved. But uh, yeah, man, it's Paul Barrera's house right there. That's his house. So, uh, yeah. this is Boston, 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 Boston. But uh, that's his house right there, Paul Rivera's house. He lived there way back in the day. Morgan. Morgan Town. Morgantown? Yeah, West Virginia. Oh, oh it's Virginia. Like right below, it's right below Pittsburgh. It's okay, the okay. The border from Pittsburgh. I've been to Pittsburgh too. Yeah, I've been there since 2001, years ago. So I gotta, I gotta revisit. Let's see how I look now. I, I think I was in fourth grade in 2001. For real? Yeah. Oh, so you were younger than me. How are you? I'm 33. You're 33. I was 14. I was 14 in 2001. You look 30. 29.30. He said I look 30, y'all. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, so how can I take a, a, a video of this? I'm like a little documentary. <laughs> you sent it to the History Channel? Is that, that, is that little thing me and you go on the History Channel? No, man. Just my Instagram, bro. Just my Instagram. And this is Bunker Hill... Bunker Hill Monument, right? And uh, what happened here? Was it 1775 this one war like, uh, or something? Con this one looks like con uh, a, a civil war. It was a war here. I thought it was some sort of war here. I think this one's civil war. Like, yeah. Well, I'm just basing it by the look of that guy's hat on that statue. And who was the st Is that Ben Franklin? Uh, 
Yeah. No, I don't think so. That's too fashionable for him. <laughs> He's insulting Ben Franklin. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> All right, man. Enjoy your tour. I'm going to try to go up here and, and, and uh, enjoy this. Take care. All right. Thank you so much, man. You too. Yeah. All right. So this is a uh, Bunker Hill uh, Monument. So sunny. You know who this guy is, sir? I do not. I was just gonna wander over there myself. Yeah. yeah. I know it's not Ben Franklin. No. He was he wasn't that fashionable. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's clothes. That's right. That yeah. yeah. Colony oh William Prescott. And the guys, the uh, war actually took place here in 1775, so I actually was right. Know a little bit about my history. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Was he, the, he must have been the head of the New Hampshire, because they said there was 900 guys in the New Hampshire contingent. Right. So that was the biggest group. Man, I'm from Philadelphia, and, you know, New York, Philadelphia, and Boston is so patriotic when it comes to America. Like, the history and the yeah. culture... But I think Boston has to be the number one. I think it has to because this is where it all happened. It's everything happened here. You know what I mean? Sure. But Philly has a lot of history. Um, the Declaration of Independence. Uh, the, the Betty, what is the name? Betsy Rose House. Betsy Ross. Yeah, Betsy Ross. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. The Constitution. Constitution. Everything. Yeah, yeah everything. the Liberty Bell. All that. All that. Um, America's birthplace. It's a lot of history there, but I think Boston may top it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, man, I totally agree. Yeah, you know, got the, the out there at the Concord Bridge, the firing of the shot heard around the world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah really, really, this was the flashpoint. The, the Pilgrims came here, even though it was an hour away yeah, at Plymouth, yeah. but they're still Boston. And I didn't know this. Boston was first settled just two years after Plymouth, 1622 for Boston. God, I thought Boston was quite a bit later than that. No. Yeah, Boston's really old. And I think Philadelphia was what? 16... Philly wasn't too much further at the Boston. I would even argue it was before, surprisingly, I think I heard. But it wasn't as developed as Boston. Boston was more developed before Philly. Because it's right here on the coast. Yeah, but then Philly expanded more, which is why it's a much bigger city. I think Philly has like 1.6 million people. It's the fifth biggest city in the U.S., Big. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the, the, yeah. The thing is about Philadelphia is that they had room to expand. They Here, did. More limited cause Boston is limited, and it's a whole bunch of islands. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right, right. This is Bunker Hill, guys. As you can see. But yeah, that's another historical site. Um. This is where they dump the the tea. And, um, yeah, this is the Boston Harbor. And that's the uh, U.S. as Constitution. Like I said, it is a ship and a boat over there, but you gotta be able to get in there, and I can't get in there today, so. Um, just wanted to show y'all this area over here. All right. That's pretty much it. Okay, so this is another historical uh, block and section of Boston. Um, this church is the old North Church. And that's where uh, Paul Revere signaled to uh, the soldiers that the Englishmen were on their way uh, to attack. I believe that that's what happened. I'm not a historian, but I believe that that's what happened. And that's the uh, the old uh, North Church right there. I don't know if you can see it that clearly, but yeah, that's it right there. So that's the history uh, for that church. It's the old North Church where Paul Revere 
gave a signal, and that's why um, he's a hero here in Boston. All right, guys. So this is a uh, Fingal Hall. Yeah, it's Boston. Thank you, Hall. And this is uh, Quincy Market. Place behind us, right there. Right there. All right, let's go spread it out. See it a little better like that. All right. So Quincy Market and Fenyo Hall. All right, so while I'm here in Boston, um, enjoying the beautiful nightlife, I want to talk about the differences between uh, Boston and Philly, my hometown. Um, their downtown is real bright and beautiful at night. Um, I love the structure, the design, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would definitely say that Philly is more uh, blue collar. I get the, the, the sense here that it's a lot of, look, I'm surrounded by them now. <laughs> I get the sense that it's a lot of um, white folks here, you know, um, that it's a, a city that's a little, I don't know, upscale and older, definitely older. It's more older people here. I haven't been to every, you know, part, obviously, because I don't live here. But it's very clean. I'll tell you that. It's very clean. Um, and as you know, obviously, if you learned in school that Boston is very patriotic, like, it played a real major part in um, America history, just as Philadelphia and New York. Those are probably the other two cities that can rival it in terms of its history and the part that it played in um, the evolution of, you know, America. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's real clean. That's what I noticed so far. Um, I haven't been around the city, the whole city, just the downtown. But from what I hear, they don't really have as many hoods. You know what I mean? Like, and it's much smaller, much smaller than Philly as well. So Philly is much bigger. Uh, but I just get the sense that Boston is more upscale and maybe cleaner downtown. Now, Philly downtown was beautiful at night. I like the structure though in the buildings and just the way the streets are aligned in Boston, like they're curvy, it's a lot of streets going in different directions, diagonal, circular, stuff like that. Um, I noticed with Philly, most of our streets are just straight. There's a bunch of straight streets for the most part. Um, so there's a, there's a few differences. A few differences. I think Philly got more to do though. Um, Boston is a little limited at night. But yeah. It's the 
the city. I got a uh, ghost tour that I accidentally purchased because I did that last night and I have to do it again tonight because I can't get a refund because um, I didn't cancel soon enough. If I had known that I ordered two, I would have canceled. But I'm going to prepare for that, get my Uber, get ready to go on this ghost tour and then my second day and night in Boston will be completed. Yeah. Okay, so I'm in the aquarium today, the New England Aquarium. And these are uh, forgot the name of these. I'll get it in the feed. They're called the Leopard Whip Spray. It's a big one right there. <laughs> I'm trying to get their attention. <laughs> they swim fast, too. Let's see what else this uh fucking aquarium got to offer. What kind of fish is that? That thing is huge. Are you serious? Look how big that fish is. I don't even know. Is it this one here? Yeah, the one right above that one. Oh, him. Goliath. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> he is Goliath. Golly, that is amazing. Yes. And that's another weird looking fish right there. You see him? That black one? Like a little nose. See? Like a juggling nose elephant nose. It's got a little nose. Oh my god, that is the weirdest looking picture ever. <laughs> <laughs> she shares, shares my sentiments. That is the weirdest. The weirdest. Ever. Oh my god, he looks mean. You <laughs> see that? There's a ton of fish right here. This one. You good? Look at that. It's tons of these. 
Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. I think these are uh, jellyfish, some sort of jellyfish. Got yeah, different kinds, freshwater jellyfish, Memoras jellyfish, lion mane jelly, lagoon jelly. Big one. Oh my god, he look evil. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my god. There's a turtle in there too. I didn't even know turtles can be with these kind of fish. Oh my gosh. God, oh, lady, look at that big turtle. How big he is. Look at him. Look at him. All right, here are the seals and I think, well no, just the seals. Look at that pretty boy right there. He over there minding his own business, chilling. <laughs> I'm on the duck tour that takes you around the city and onto the river in Boston. So at the time, it was the largest town in America. It just became a city. Really? Yeah. You ready? And the chicken bone saloon closed. So it does float. I was going to say, it does float.
So, I'm on this uh, yacht cruise in Boston with my boy D. What's goody? What's good? What's goody? <laughs> How you feeling about this uh, cruise so far? Talk to me. Well, you already know. You're looking amazing with that sun behind you like that. Like you. Yeah, absolutely appreciate it. Get the sales but uh, the truth is, I've always been inclined to liking a whole lot of water, so this right. is kind of like my little. This is this is this what my we do. This, this is our sanctuary. sanctuary, right? You know, so I pretty just because because we're mother here. mother nature boys, both of us. I think so. I mean, you always said you was. I know I, because I always enjoy being by the water. Like, the, nothing the, pays to be on something like this. You see all this sun, water. Peace. Yeah. Mind. Yeah. So, so, so relax. So I take this any day. Yeah. Brand is old. And I ain't scared to get close to the ward. I ain't scared of falling in. Well, let me stop. Let me stop faking the funk. <laughs> So too far back. He's, he's staying up there. He's staying up there. He like I ain't. You see how the boat is? The boat tilted. The boat kind of tilted. I know, right? I keep telling you, you ain't, you ain't, you, you ain't fucking with my pictures. I don't see. I don't see. I don't see. All right, shit. My wife about lost his shit, man. You did? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we just going sideways. <laughs> you going viral? You going yeah. viral? <laughs> All right, so. All right, let me get you my number, man. All right. I want you to send me that shit, dude. 
But us oh, the pictures that we took, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Because it's um, actually, she gave, another oh, one gave me her and number. Then, and then I can send you the pictures I took. And yeah. You, you can actually sell them because mine are like broke quality. He keep thinking that his picture's it's better than mine. He's fucking telling them that my pictures are high quality. I got the... I got the best phone out in the world. It's I got not the, about the phone. I can take a picture with a Polaroid. Say, say. <laughs> Come on. Give this, me props. Give me whole, props on that one. No, your pictures are definitely good. Give me props on Your pictures are good. I just square away, man. They they better than most people's pictures. Because I be saying, look, motherfuckers be taking pictures. Snap, snap, no, snap, no, snap, no, snap, no, snap. No, don't do that. My wife takes pictures. Terrible. And you gotta make sure people are out the way. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. You, you don't just you. snap, 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 right, snap. Right. I, Look. I do up the down. And then you had the ones with the people you be blurry, happy, and yes. happy. And it's just. <laughs> me and you, maybe we should start with like a gallery or some shit. <laughs> and see who likes what better. Get some, some picture lessons. My shit is the mom, dude. Yeah, your pictures are, are good. Not, not as good as mine, but they good. They good. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm still gonna stick to that. Ain't seen these ones yet. Still gonna stick to that. Ain't seen these ones yet. Man, I I, I, I just can't wait to get off. That's nice. Huh? That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I'm gonna show you mine. One minute. Your phone is locked for five minutes. Your phone is locked for half an hour. If you get enough time. <laughs> We're on our way going. back to Boston. <laughs> Yeah, this is amazing. I'm glad you showed me that. Man, this is beautiful. They go down to it. Look at Come on, Dave, give me the camera. Okay. It's me and my bro. Sorry. Go ahead, sweetie. Yep, it's that tall nigga shit for you. That tall nigga shit. Huh? Tall niggas rule. Tall niggas rule. No, not all of us. Yeah, I mean, we got some straight dudes out here, man. That's got some of us tall dudes be out the park. <laughs> I've been here since when? Oh. I've been to uh, the Freedom Trail, Boston Common. Um, I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. He's been kind of all over the place. Like, like I said, I came over here to yeah. see a woman. You know what I mean? That's from here. Yeah. So she's kind of <laughs> he getting him some. He, he getting him some woman. So uh, you know how that goes. Look at that. Go to Boston and drink right there. Where you play at? Right there. That's CD Garden. That's CD Garden. Me and D in this banging uh Boston restaurant. It's supposed to have some bomb ass fucking steak. And we're gonna fuck this shit up. Look at it. What's that? Uh, yes. Uh, Say something to the people, there. What's up, everybody? We out here enjoying the rest of our uh, night out in town. Yes, sir. A uh, little steak, waiting on a little steak and fish. be coming through. Yes, sir. So, with that said, man, I hope everybody enjoying their Thursday night. You know, we definitely enjoying ours at this fancy hotel, fancy restaurant. You know, I hear they got beautiful steak. Where we at? Boston. Yeah, we at steak up here. Let me show y'all where we at right now. So, excuse the screen, Shrega. excuse Shrega. the screen being cracked, but if you ever come here, try this place out right here. Shrega, Shrega, Shrega. It's a beautiful place to come eat, relax. If it weren't for D, I would never have a chance to come to Boston. I enjoyed myself. Man, I'm appreciative of this dude, man. Thank you a lot for encouraging me, getting me out the house, motivating me to travel the world. It means a lot to me, man. It means a lot. We in this banging ass place, man. About to get some banging ass food, bro. Banging ass food. You know what I'm saying?
So I'm at another um, place that is historical in Boston. I mean, they got so much fucking history in Boston, man. It's crazy. Um, but these guys are in the way, but still, this is the birthplace um, and where Ben Franklin lived. Um, you ever come to Boston is on Milk Street, I believe. And his house used to be many different things. But does it right there. Right there is uh, Ben Franklin's birthplace. Building is so tall, it's hard to fit the whole thing in there. But that's it. Oh. All right. All right, so I'm at the burial site of many great Bostonians. Um, and I'm going to try to go and see if I can um, record their tombstones and get some pictures of their tombstones. If people get out the fucking way, because it's quite as fucking as my fucker. <laughs> so let's try to get to some of these burial sites real quickly. Alright, so here <laughs> people are crazy. So here is the um the tombstone of Sam U. Adams. Right there. Signer of the Declaration of Independence. Governor of this Commonwealth. A leader of men and a ardent patriot. Born 1722 and died 1803. God damn, that's a long time ago. He died like a couple hundred years before I was even thought of. <laughs> yeah. So that's Sam U. Uh, Adams burial site. I don't know if this was his family or what, but I yeah, don't know much about them. Um, I know there were a lot of other great Bostonians that were buried here. Uh, one being Ben Franklin. This is Ben Franklin's tombstone and grave site. Right here. Let's see if we can get up here and read a little bit about him, even though I know some things about him. Uh, is this his birthday? 19, I mean 1655 dot I don't know if that was his birthday or not, but this is his, um, this is a grave site right here. So, yeah. That's his grave site. And they gave him the biggest um, tombstone of anyone in here, it seemed like. But, um. Yep. Alright. So, the last one that I know of, I know they said something about John Hancock. I'm not really sure who he is. Who is this guy dressed like a Englishman? You see a lot of people like this in Boston. They dress like Englishmen. Let me just tell you, me being a black man, these motherfuckers is newsy as fuck. All right. So let's go up here to Paul Bevere. He was a great Bostonian, and 
he did a lot of um, things in Boston. So let's go to his grave site. Paul Revere, he was born in Boston, January 1734. He died uh, May 1818. I don't know how many years that is he was alive, but <laughs> that was a very long time ago. Um, and this is his actual tomb right here. It says Revere's tomb. As you can see. Um, Boston Tea Party participant, December 16th, 1773. So this is his actual tomb, and that's the uh, tomb with his like, I guess, personal information on there. So, yep. All right. I just need to find a. Huh? You should get a job here. I know, right? I'm just doing a little documentary for myself. <laughs> I'm trying to find the last um, Bostonian. Who was it? Uh, John Hancock? Hancock? I think he's over down there. Yeah. He's down there? Yeah, he's down that there. one right there? You got it. Okay, okay. all right. That's the fourth one I got to go to. Thank okay. you so much. You got to forgive me. <laughs> I'm not a historian, but I know. <laughs> I know the um, importance of what they done. I'm learning more about the importance of what they done. So this right here is actually um, John Hancock Grave. Right here. Um, I don't know who this is. Oh, that's John Hancock, I think, up there, as you can see. John Hancock. This is a monument of him, and this is the memorial erected AD, I can't read that, Commonwealth of. Massachusetts to mark the ground of John Hancock. Okay, so that's what that is. All right, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get out of this burial ground. This had a lot of smoky fucking shit happening here too. A lot of fucking shit happening here. So I'm getting out of here. Now I'm walking over the Boston Harbor, over there to that red house. Um, it's supposed to be a reenactment of the Boston Tea Party. So um, hopefully I uh, enjoy myself. A screenshot. <laughs> yeah, I know how I do my my video screenshots, and this is right there behind me. Where they do the Boston Tea Party um, reenactment. That hopefully I enjoy it. Never been to New York. That's hilarious. Living in Philadelphia. Living, and you're right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. CD. That's, that's that's the monkey I have to get off my back. New York. Remember all these places I go to? I gotta get that monkey off my back. Girl, I, 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 beautiful place to go visit. Uh -huh. I've been there. I've been there plenty of times as a, as a Bostonian. I just don't think I could live there. But if I had to, I can't. No. But, but it's it's kind of embarrassing. I've never been there. And I think it's kind of embarrassing that for somebody, as many people that live in a city and never been out the city or state. But look, I got four under my belt this year, so I'm making progress. Yeah, look, 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 let me put it like this. My mom always told you this. If you always want to do something, take it one step at a time. Yeah, okay. and another thing, face your fears, just do it. Oh, absolutely. Right. If you're going, if you're, if you're going to do one vacation a year, then do that. Uh, then do that. I'm going to do at least, I'm going to do at least two. Yeah, that's But see, right. he got me for the, everybody laughing at them about this New York thing. I got to go to New York. I, I, I got to get that monkey on my back. I'm, I'm, I'm going. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just, just do it. You should be all right. Just to be able to say you've been to New York. Yeah, you're in Philadelphia. Just... How you never been to New York? I don't know.
We said nothing about whether that tax was high or low. Yeah. Only that it was placed without our consent. Yeah, yeah. But that's not even the worst of it, I fear. Okay. This T Act uh -huh. allows our governor to choose seven men of Boston to be the only ones allowed to sell this tea. The tea consignees. What? I mean, since when has our governor been able to dictate who may sell what merchandise in our city? Right. And I feel everybody should be able to do that. If they want. Indeed. Why are you only allowing seven people to do that? Are they superior to us? And, I mean, think on this. Each one of them is a personal friend of our governor. Yeah, so and that's... two of them are his own sons. Right. So that's like some uh, personal interest. Indeed. Nonsense. This is nonsense. This, this is really nonsense. But these seven men, had we not placed armed guards at every ship to make sure that they were not unloaded underneath our noses, uh -huh. these seven men would have paid the whole tax up front. Meaning that Parliament will have found a way to successfully extract a tax from these colonies without our consent and utterly sidestepping our boycotts. Look at this. Who is that? Oh, God. Patriots, How are we doing today? Hey, I'm doing great. You want to come undercover here so we can give you our lecture a little drier? You want to join us right here? Welcome aboard the Eleanor Myself. Nice hey. Ordinarily, I'd like you just over there, but I mean, given the occasion, in the little <laughs> I love your office. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Now, aboard the uh, technically, you've already committed treason, so my apologies. I usually give you the warning off the ship, but uh, we're all going to swear an oath of secrecy here today, uh -huh. promising not to ever speak of what we do here today. I would never. I would never. Precisely, or who's present? Cut. Right. Right. Oh no, don't trust me, please, don't trust me, oh, trust we, me. We trust you, you trust me. I don't trust the people you're showing it to. <laughs> as long as you're in the clear. You know, I'm good, I'm good. Excellent. So, this is where they had the tea? Yes. And as you okay. can see, we have chest of tea just here. Okay. Uh, the chest that you, you threw above, uh -huh. uh, that's about 30 to 40 pounds of tea. Okay. Uh, this will be about 100 pounds of tea. Okay. And a full chest can weigh upwards of 400 pounds. Okay. Now, what I want you to do for me is fully educate me. I know about the Boston Tea Party, mm -hmm. but it was based on taxes, right? To and some extent, yes. To some extent. Okay, so break down a little further for me if you can, and really shortly and really briefly, tell me why was it that they took the tea and threw it over the water? So two reasons. One, that tax is important, but it's not the fact that we have to pay it. It's the fact that we never got to vote on it. Um, so Parliament was making decisions without us. So with us feeling like we're losing our rights as Englishmen, we decided to protest that by destroying the thing that they're taxing, which would be the tea. And were they benefiting by you buying tea and they, the taxes? They were getting the taxes? Yes, sir. That's uh, what so it was. The taxes, uh, it's a very meager sum. Uh, most people in Boston can afford it. Uh, it's going to go to pay unelected officials in Boston as well. So people that we never got to even vote on or that are here, like our royal governor, for instance. Um, That's so, not democracy. No, it's not, sir. Exactly. So you can start to see where that might start to come. And a lot of anger play. came, and you took all this tea and said, you know what? You're not going to make money off of the steel taxes. We're going to throw it away since we can't have it for exactly. a regular price. Exactly. Okay. Now, the, the company that sent us the tea is the other part of the problem. Right. This is the United East India Company. They are okay. the largest company in the world. And they were importing so much tea that they had no way of ever realistically selling it. Uh -huh. So in their warehouses where they keep the tea, it starts to stockpile. There's overstock. And if they're not moving the product, well, the stock collapses and they go bankrupt. Right. And they owed such an amount of debt from their mismanagement, it was enough to completely sink the entire empire. So why did they not just sell the tea? Wouldn't that help them with the bankruptcy? Well, here, here's, here's where that's going to come into play, sir. Um, so what they do is Parliament is going to completely restructure how they operate. Um, now there's laws in place to make sure that they can't do things like they were doing before. Uh, one of the things they're going to do is have members of parliament as shareholders in the company to protect it, to make sure this doesn't happen again. But that overstock of tea that you were just mentioning, why don't they just sell it? That's right. exactly what they do. They're going to be sending us the surplus tea here in the colonies because they thought that we didn't know the difference. So they were sending you not 
tea of high quality. Exactly. Tea that's been sitting in London warehouses for four to five old, years. Oh, behind tea. Yes. And taxing you at the process. Indeed, sir. Oh, wow. So on top of that, when they're sending the tea here, of course, we're, we're, we're going to be... So again, we talked about that three penny per pound tax, but also trying to make sure this monopoly uh, doesn't get to stay. Because okay. uh, they're, what they're doing is they're lowering the price of the tea so that we feel like we want to buy it from them. Right. But anybody else that's trying to sell tea here in Boston, they can't lower their prices that much. Right. So they're undercutting honest merchants. I oh, got you. Can I go down here? See what's back here? Uh, so actually, I'll have you go this way. Go this way uh, first. There's yellow arrows on the ground. It'll sort of lead you around the cabin. Okay. Look at this. This is amazing. I and love the, these uh, that's these the boats. extreme lightning speed version of uh, why we're here this evening. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny, man. How do I get through this? I just move this over. Oh, the, uh, we can't go in that. But I can't go in it. Just right here. It's not right here. Inside, and that's the captain. Okay. The that's the captain. Hey, captain. Oh, the hey, captain though. No. Oh, he's a little angry. The captain is mean to me. He's mean. Okay. Tea was in here as well. Uh, no, it's gonna be in the crates like this. So just the crates. So there's no uh, tea in those. No, these are gonna be uh, things like cloth, weapons, tools, paper, books, those types of things. Okay, I got you. Else. I got you. And the ropes. What were the ropes for? Uh, this rope is for raising and lowering the anchor. Um, then there's also ropes for blocking tackle systems because the mm. cargo is extremely heavy on occasion. Uh -huh. uh, those stairs wouldn't have been there. Uh -huh. um, so what you have to do is lower a rope and tie it around uh, the crates and, and other heavy objects to get them up above. Thank you so much, sir. I, I learned a lot about the Boston Tea Party. I knew some things, but you really helped to put like more in perspective for me. That's so now, like, I have for. a yes, I have a At clear I understanding. I hope you understand what's going on. It's, it's a, that's our job. <laughs> right, right, right. And. Is this where somebody slept the babies that's, or something? That's where all the crew sleeps. These little teeny beds? Yes, sir. Uh, now, they could have been a little bit larger. Hold than up. This. Is that a person right there? That's one of the sailors. He's just very heavily sleeping. And by heavily, I mean he, he looks like he hasn't been breathing for a bit. Anyway. Oh, um, so my God. He's there. A relatively accurate representation of what um, the folks will, where the crew sleeps will look like. Okay. All right. Well, it's not for me to get out of here. Oh, look here. Oh my goodness! He's shorter than me. <laughs> so how do I get off? Let us know if you have any questions. How do I get off? Um, the same way you came on. So you'll take a little tour. You'll, you'll walk around and then come back on. Okay. Okay. Is that someone sitting right there? Oh, he don't speak either. Oh wow. Whew. This is the Boston Harbor, by the way. And this is another one of their, their boats. These people are weird, man. I tell you that they're kind of weird. Kind of freaking me out. All right. All right, I'm done. You see that? Follow the blue arrows. Follow the blue arrows? Around the corner to the right, you'll see around an interesting map of Boston. All right, thanks, man. All right, that's it, guys. 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock or uh, 2 to 3 o'clock. All right, thank you so much. Hey, anytime. We'll be, yeah, we'll be open again on Monday. All right. Unfortunately, I won't be here Monday, but I still want to show you the site of the uh, African Meeting House. Got somebody in there. Um, I don't know much about it. That's why I came here to learn more. But what I do know is that um, it's the oldest, I believe, Black Baptist Church in Boston. This is the front. That's how it looks. Right there. That's it. It's on Joy Street in Boston. Yeah, right there. I've seen all the historical sites there. <laughs> Look this way, everybody. Hey, beautiful. Thank you, beautiful. Let me kiss. Let me kiss. Oh, yeah. He'll be your buddy. <laughs> I love dogs. They're amazing. Too, man. That's why I work with them. Man, they're amazing. All right. No, it's so funny. He starts jumping through the puddles and harassing <laughs> the girls. What kind of dog is that one right there? Shamaranian. Can I see? Yeah, come here, Coco. She only has one eye, though. Oh, he's beautiful. She's an old lady. She's like almost... 13 years and old. And you can see the wolf in him. Oh yeah, those, the, all those dogs that have the curly tail. I had a husky for years. Yeah. And on the road. This dog don't even know me. He showed Ain't me love. Dog. Ain't this amazing? Look at this. That's why people get labs right there, man. That's the sheer reason why people get labs. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. One last kiss. Before I go oh, back to I knew you were going to rub your wet body against him, dude. Ooh. 
Give me a kiss. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, he's adorable. All right, so that's that nice ass uh, bridge in Boston. I put the name in the description box because I forgot the fucking name. And that's where those fuck ass motherfucking Celtics play. Fuck them. They always beat our sixes. That's a TD Garden. With the Celtics and the Bruins play. I went to the stadium and poured Pepsi on a Celtics t-shirt and hat earlier. But that's punk ass TD Garden. It's my last day in Boston. Um, I've been here four days. Oh man. This is the common. Boston common. Yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's my last day here. And I'm repping my Eagles, my Phillies, my Sixers, my Flyers. I'm representing Philly. I don't give a fuck what none of these motherfuckers say. I've been wearing this Flyers hat all week. And I dare motherfucker say something. It was somebody last night. It was like, uh, it was like, go Flyers. I was like, yeah, go Flyers. Fuck the Bruins. <laughs> this is like a concession stand. Well, not really, because we're not at a amusement park or nothing, but. Um, yeah, man, that's my last name in Boston. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I'm uh, so proud of myself. Everybody that know me personally know I have anxiety. And so, you know, going places by myself is a challenge. But, I'm a strong dude. Strong as fuck. And I was able to come out here and enjoy Boston. Um, I went to all the historical sites. Met a lot of great people. Um, had amazing, you know, conversations and stuff like that. Just with random people walking down the block, whether they want to show me their dog or whatever. But it is definitely different here than uh, Philly. It's it's a totally, I would say it's, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's night and day, but night and day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Actually, I think I probably would say night and day. Another thing that I do to challenge myself is, there's nothing wrong with the number of days that you stay somewhere on a vacation. Um, it's all about what you get out of it. Because I got friends that go on vacations, but they don't really do nothing while they're on a vacation. And me, I'm very active on vacations. I go out and I get the most out of it. You know what I mean? I just absorb the city, visit the whole city, as much of the city as I can, so that I don't have to go back to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I record and take pictures so that I can relive those memories. Um, but my challenge was to stay somewhere for actually more than three days. Because all my trips, New Orleans, Niagara Falls, and Puerto Rico was three days. Alright, so this is another part of um, Boston that I never walked to. And I'm doing it my last day. Um, that's Boston Commons. Or Boston Common, I'm sorry, that I just came from. And this here is another part. And um, I'm going to walk through here. Let's 
It's beautiful out here. Yep. It's like it's getting a little warmer because a few minutes ago, it was cold as fuck. You gotta remember, I'm in Boston. This ain't Philly. And while both of these cities are in the north and they both get real cold, so does New York. The higher you go up north, the colder it get. So, obviously, you expect Boston to be much colder than uh, the other two. See them black folk up there? See, I go on trips alone, so I don't have the fortune of uh, having somebody take it, uh, pictures and shit, so. It's my little pic right here. Do me a little screenshot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Besides, I like videos better. I think with videos, you can relive moments. Pictures are beautiful. Don't get me fucked. Don't, don't get it fucked up. But I think that videos, you can actually relive the moment. You know what I'm saying? It's like taking a journey. And you can do that um, in ways you just obviously can't do with a picture. Look over here. Under this little tunnel now. Or bridge. I'm sorry. Yeah, so this this park is I think this park is prettier than um Boston Common. Alright, let's go up here these steps. Let's go up these steps here. Alright, this is the bridge. See there? It is beautiful out today. They said it was going to be raining today. This is beautiful houses over here. So, yeah. Let's see right here. I guess this is the uh, Charleston Bridge. No, these are the the Cambridge Cambridge Bridge. Cambridge Bridge. So y'all the same All right. Look at that water. Let me zoom in a little bit. Like for crazy as fuck. Seriously. Some crazy motherfuckers. That's why motherfuckers be saying they ain't human. That's the shit they do. Jogging and running around with t shirts on. Who, who do that? 
I'm freezing cold and I'm covered up. I'm still gonna show y'all um Fenway Park is actually right there. You see behind me. My little screenshot right there, so. I'm still repping my flyers. All right. Because of COVID, I don't even know if they even play. I don't think they're playing right now anyway, because I think they got knocked out. Matter of fact, I don't even think they got into the playoffs. They were bad this year. See that? Had a better time here than I ever thought I would have in Boston. Yep. See ya, Boston.